Hi, this is Adam Bakhtari from Centroid and I'm here today to bring you another one of our products and I'm excited today to debut this new product that we have. It's the SL50 Compact Air Monitoring Station. Now you may wonder what's a compact air monitoring station. Well, you see this box? It will be able to detect up to 20 different compounds, so it can take 20 different sensors, including monitoring particulates, NO2, SO2, uh, ozone, many other uh, compounds, which you can see from the list of sensors that we have available. What the advantage of having a compact monitoring station is, compared to a traditional uh, US EPA reference monitoring station, is that you can deploy many more of these due to the lower cost and the smaller form factor as opposed to one of those. So you can monitor a larger area and be able to provide more data in terms of the pollution level. So let's look at this product now. Now the first thing you'll notice is going to be the big screen here. And what that allows you is to interact with Sentinel and use it as a standalone monitoring station. This is quite a unique feature. So here I can look at things like uh, graphs and see what the values that we have recorded are. For example, in this instrument we have a particulate sensor and I can see PM1, 10, 2.5. This instrument also has NO2 and SO2 as part of its monitoring. You can have up to 20 different sensors and you would be able to see all those sensor readings here live. I could also change parameters of the Sentinel quite easily, like uh, setting the air conditioner, turn on and off, how fast it's going to do purging, how often it's going to send that data to the server, and other parameters like that. Now what's interesting here is that we have set up layers of data acquisition to make it 100% reliable when it's out in the field. So the most basic level is the Sentinel's controller. Now that's an industrial controller that's collecting all that data from the sensors and doing things like setting pump speeds and turning on the air conditioner. At that level, the controller itself is recording everything on the SD card. And in case of complete failure, you can still recover the SD card and be able to see the data from that. On the next level, you have the monitoring server, which is actually built into this screen. So it's not really a screen, it's actually a computer sitting here. And it's running the system information management software that we have. So you can then record data from here, copy it to a USB, and get the data out in that way. The third one is the one that's always going on at the same time as this, which is the cloud server. The Sentinel will send all data through GPRS, to the cloud server and the cloud server will log the data and provide you with graphs, minimums, maximums, average over some time and other calculations such as odor concentration. So with that let's go on to the next feature which is in fact the odor concentration. So Sentinel is the only compact monitoring station which will also provide you with odor concentration like an electronic nose. So what we do is we take some of those pollutants that are identified as tracers of the odor and use them to calculate based on a sophisticated learning algorithm the odor concentration in this area. So this feature allows you to have both pollution monitoring and odor concentration monitoring in one. Some of the other features are going to be, for example, ozone cleaning, where the Sentinel itself on a routine and automated way, we'll go and setting it up every hour or every day, we'll clean the internal uh, tubing, the pump, the sensors, and even all the way out here, everything using a low level of ozone. Hi, I'm Amir and I'm a junior engineer for Centroid. I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the Sentinel uh, and how it works. So I'm gonna first start by describing uh, the exterior boxes and just explain what they all are real quick. So uh, I'll start off with uh, on this side we have a uh, vent which we use to house uh, the exterior port of our PM sensor. Uh, next we have an exterior temperature sensor underneath the box. We also have a uh, exterior uh, power supply for our air conditioner which is located here. And we also have a box at the top, which contains all our antennas for our GSM and our uh, GPS. 
uh, and also we have our exterior sampling port. I'm going to talk to you real quick about the installation. So we have these four mounting brackets here, which you can use to mount our Sentinel to wherever you like. Uh, you can mount it to a wall, to a post. Uh, to set up a product, it's really simple. Once you mount it, you, uh, our system will detect this location using our onboard GPS. And then from there, all you have to do is enter your settings through the onboard screen, or you can use our cloud management service and set up the settings through there. The SIM card is already pre-installed. It's already loaded. It's already working. Uh, so that's all done for you. And that's it. Thank you, Amir, for showing us how Sentinel works and also for his hard work in developing this new product. I want to thank you as well for watching. And if you need more information, check our videos or check our website www.centroid.com or drop us an email at info at centroid.com. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.